Calcium is an essential nutrient for human as well as the mineral substance with the greatest content in human body and the greatest demand by the human body and has the reputation of a life element. Rose Eddy, a neurobiologist of California of USA, once said that all activities of life rely on calcium, which indicates that calcium is the foundation of life and calcium decides the existence of life. Calcium plays an important role in physiological regulation in human body. The five stages of people need the participation of great quantity of calcium, and calcium is essential for the fetal period germinating life, the infant period, the adolescent period full of vigor, the golden adulthood, and the geriatric stage. Now let us see the important functions of calcium in the first stage of life, namely the fetal period. After a woman is pregnant, the fetus gradually starts to grow in uterus. The fetuses of three-month-old experience very fast skeletal development. Calcium is greatly needed in the immediate and late periods with quick development, and the content of calcium in the fetuses is 25 to 30 grams. The fetal teeth start development from the eighth week of conception, and the skeleton starts calcification from the twelfth week of Conception. Therefore, calcium is the most important for the fetal growth. Then is the second stage, namely infant period. The infant period is the period in which calcium comes to the most effective accumulation in skeleton. The calcium in the neonate body is about 25 grams and reaches 65 grams in one year after birth. That is to say, the calcium in the body increases 40 grams in one year after birth, and the babies in the infant period need to absorb at least 110 milligrams calcium per day. In the third stage of physical development, namely the adolescent period, the boys of 11 to 19 years old and girls of 10 to 17 years old experience the accelerating skeletal growth and calcification, and their height increases greatly. In a word, it is essential to supplement the sufficient calcium in the adolescent period to enable skeletal growth and reach the normal body height and bone calcium density. The adults of 30 to 35 years old enjoy the peak bone calcium content. It is necessary to keep a great quantity of calcium before such ages to prevent bone calcium consumption due to the lower calcium absorption rate. Adults have the limited calcium absorption capacity Calcium accumulates in the skeleton little by little, and its accumulation needs a long term. It is not advisable to supplement a great quantity of calcium only in one time. Adults are suggested to obtain the sufficient calcium per day, receive the proper sunshine, and do the appropriate exercise, which is the most effective method of strengthening the skeleton. The last stage is the geriatric stage. The calcium requirement of the elderly is the same as that of adults. However, the elderly have poorer gastrointestinal digestion and absorption capacity and excrete more calcium with stool and urine. In addition, the elderly have weak appetite than the ordinary adults and fewer choices of food, which cause inadequate calcium uptake easily. Hence, the elderly are suggested to take in calcium in a planned way. Moreover, the women that gestate new life are affected by calcium for the whole life, especially in the gestation period and lactation period, followed by the menopause period. The calcium requirement of women in the gestation period is far greater than the non-pregnant period. They must take more nutrients for the gestation of new life, and calcium is closely related to the skeletal and teeth growth of fetuses. In case mothers fail to take the adequate calcium in the gestation period and lactation period, they will suffer from calcium deficiency after the adulthood and many psychological dysfunctions, and the most common one is osteoporosis occurring in the menopause period. Therefore, it is not true to supplement calcium only after falling ill. For the sake of health and improvement of physical fitness, it is necessary to take adequate calcium at ordinary times to make you become a strong woman. The content of calcium in a human body is 700 to 1400 grams, and calcium exists in human bodies in the form of a mineral salt. Calcium in a person accounts for 2% of the body weight, 
and 99% calcium exists in the hard tissues of human body, such as skeleton, and forms the calcium pool of human body, and mainly plays the function of supporting human body. 1% calcium exists in blood, cytoplasm, and other tissues, and called as blood calcium, and plays the important function of maintaining life. Calcium, reputed as the life of health in the initiation element of life, mainly supports the skeletal health of human body, maintains the muscular contraction and relaxation and the normal pulsate of heart, participates the moment secretion, metabolism, differentiation of human cells and other physiological processes, acts as the activator of multiple enzymes of human body, regulates the level of nervous excitation, takes part in the conduction of central nervous system, equilibriates pH of body fluid, participates in blood coagulation, inhibits inflammation and edema, as well as maintains the immune system of human body. People can take calcium from food after birth. However, the prevailing delicacy in snack culture causes the general inadequate uptake of various nutrients, and calcium deficiency is most serious. The inadequate uptake of calcium from food will cause the decrease in concentration of calcium in blood and human body will automatically separate out calcium from skeleton and teeth for maintaining the concentration of calcium in blood and keep the normal state of human body, which causes a loss of calcium in bones and teeth, presents the danger of osteoporosis, results in the imbalance of concentration of calcium in and outside cells, and dysfunction of various organs and endangers the tissues and organs of human body. Groups of the different physiological stages have different symptoms of calcium deficiency. The calcium deficient children may suffer from rickets due to skeletal dysplasia and also present the symptoms of night cry or dysphoria. Calcium deficiency can lead to low immunity and vulnerability to infection, poor appetite, sweating due to debility and night sweat. The calcium deficient teenagers will present frequent debility of the legs, spasm of the muscle, poor physique, dental hypoplasia, and may result in decayed tooth, failure in concentration, irritableness, selective eating disorder, and anorexia. The calcium deficient young adults will present frequent listlessness and hypodynamia, vulnerability to debility of the legs, frequent soreness in the waist and back, their immunity will be lower if they are vulnerable to cold. The calcium deficient pregnant or nursing women are vulnerable to leg spasm, soreness in the waist and back. In particular, they may suffer from frequent arthalgia, dropsy, which may lead to hyperlipemia in pregnancy. The calcium deficient middle-aged and elderly people are vulnerable to distress in the loins and backache and leg cramp. Calcium deficiency will also lead to osteoporosis and hyperostrogeny, and serious calcium deficiency will cause fracture, hypertension, and cardiocerebrovascular diseases. In addition to the eating habit and living habit, the physiological state and health state are also the factors involving calcium deficiency. With regard to eating habit, the excessive cellulose in food may result in calcium deficiency because fiber contains certain calcium and cannot be absorbed by human body, which results in the simultaneous excretion of calcium and cellulose. The excessive oxalic acid in food may cause calcium deficiency. Oxalic acid is an organic acid, exists in spinach and tea leaves, and can react with calcium to form the insoluble calcium oxalate which cannot be absorbed by human body. The frequent drinking of soda drinks, basic drinks, and sweet neutralized gastric acid, and thus inhibits calcium absorption. Living habit is another factor of calcium deficiency. The calcium contents of smokers is much lower than that of non-smokers, since smoking weakens calcium absorption, and the harmful substances from smoking, including nicotine and tar, inhibit the enterokinesia and attenuates digestion and absorption function. For the gastric acid is inhibited and the food containing calcium fails to decompose calcium ion, 
The calcium ion cannot be absorbed by the intestinal tract. Since smoking also causes enterokinesia, calcium cannot be absorbed by the intestinal villi. Physiological state is also closely related to calcium absorption. Organ aging affects calcium absorption that relies on the combined action of glands. Glands degenerate along with the increase of age, including parathyroid gland, thyroid gland, and adrenal gland, controlling calcium metabolism function, thus affect calcium absorption. That is one reason why the elderly present osteoporosis easily. Health state is one of the important factors related to calcium absorption. For the persons with too fast enterokinesia and frequent diarrhea, calcium cannot be absorbed adequately for food passes the intestinal tract at too fast a speed. The slightly alkaline intestinal tract will inhibit the dissolution of calcium salt and thus will result in absorption of less calcium. Calcium is an important element necessary for life and calcium deficiency not only brings adverse effect to skeleton of people at different ages, but also results in a series of chronic diseases. Therefore, a healthy body requires maintaining calcium balance, change the bad living and eating habit, and keep from the adverse factors causing calcium loss. For prevention of calcium loss, it is advisable to properly receive sunshine, and do more exercise. The ultraviolet rays in sunshine enable activation of vitamin D and accelerate calcium absorption. It is better to do some outdoor exercises in clothes under the medium intensity sunshine with regard to sun bath for prevention of osteoporosis. Ultraviolet rays cannot permeate glass, so it is necessary to receive outdoor sunshine for the purpose of acquisition of active vitamin D. Exercise can stimulate skeleton, improve the skeletal blood circulation, increase skeletal stress and appetite, and enable better absorption of calcium and other nutrients. It is advisable to select the healthy eating habit. Keep from the eating habit that causes calcium loss. Be far from snack, select food with little salt, and stand from excessive vegetable food. Frequent snacking and drinking of carbonated drinks can cause excessive uptake of phosphorus. The food with little salt is beneficial to calcium absorption. Since calcium competes with sodium in the resorption of the renal tubules, excessive sodium uptake will inevitably cause less calcium absorption. Eating vegetables can meet human demands for vitamins and cellulose, However, eccentric phytic acids and other substances in vegetables react with calcium to form the insoluble substances and further affect calcium absorption. Calcium cannot be synthesized by human body and is the essential element for the various stages of life. However, it is important to achieve proper and balanced calcium uptake. Deficient calcium uptake can cause calcium deficiency of human body and further result in developmental retardation of children's skeleton and teeth, osteoporosis, cramps or spasm of muscle, hands and feet, soreness of the lower back in the elder, and easily lead to various chronic diseases. However, the high-dose calcium supplement will lead to the undesired result. The excessive calcium in skeleton and brittle skeleton further causes fracture. For babies, the excessive calcium may result in the early skeletal calcification, enclosure, and thus render dwarfism. In addition, excessive uptake of calcium will affect the absorption of other trace elements such as iron, zinc, by the intestinal tract. While absorbing calcium, it is necessary to keep the proper uptake of vitamins, protein, and mineral substances which is beneficial to meeting requirement on balancing nutrition and promoting calcium absorption. Vitamins interact with calcium and have considerable influence on calcium absorption or loss. For example, vitamin D can increase calcium absorption, but excessive vitamin A advances calcium loss and vitamin K in calcium assists blood coagulation. Therefore, 
in order to realize the proper utilization and absorption of calcium by the human body, it is essential to take the proper vitamins while eating food with calcium or eating calcium supplement. Almost no mineral substance supplement can operate independently. They must combine with other related mineral substances to achieve their healthcare function. Calcium absorption requires the assistance from other mineral substances, including magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, etc. The coordination of magnesium and calcium is very close. Magnesium deficiency causes max excretion of calcium along with urine, thus magnesium is indirectly related to the diseases due to calcium deficiency. Based on the health concept of cleaning, regulating, supplementing and preventing, Tien's group has developed a series of products with calcium supplement and other nutrition functions by combining Chinese long-standing health preserving culture and the modern biotechnology. Tien's Nutrient Super Calcium Powder is manufactured by the biological esmolysis technology, abundant in the pure natural integrated nutrient sources such as enzymolytic bone calcium powder, protein, amino acids, mineral substances, and vitamins. It has strong bioactivity and super calcium content, with ratio of calcium to phosphorus being two to one. Its nutrients are balancing and reasonable. It provides the balanced nutrients easier for absorption. It is indicated for middle-aged and the elderly, the teenagers in the growth stage, pregnant women, nursing women and the weak. Its dosage is to take with lukewarm water and one to two bags every day. Tian Super Calcium Powder for Children is specially designed for children. Abundant in the pure, natural, enzymatic bone calcium powder, ion, zinc, amino acids and the yolk powder that can effectively improve the brain function and activity of children. It has strong bioactivity and its ratio of calcium to phosphorus is two for one. Its nutrients are balancing and reasonable. It also contains brain fitness components, and it is a natural comprehensive nutrient source for growth and development of children. Tens designs Tens Super Calcium Powder with metabolic factors for the sub-health state of the modern people. In addition to the enzymolytic bone calcium powder, it also contains a pumpkin powder with a unique natural glucose reducing factors and a functional oligosaccharide maintaining the intestinal health. In addition to enzymolytic bone calcium powder, Tien's super calcium capsules with lectin contains lectin and taurine with brain fitness function, as well as folic acid and vitamins B1 and B2, nourishing brain cells so they can improve the brain function and activity and promote memory. They are indicated for students and brain workers. Their dosage is to take with lukewarm water three times every day and three capsules each time. For the modern life rhythm and flavor selection, Tiens provides you with the Tiens chewable calcium tablets with the multi-flavor, the pure natural calcium supplement convenient for use and containing balanced nutrients. They are indicated for general calcium deficient groups. They are easy for carrying and use. Two tablets per day are suggested for adults. Calcium is the regulator of human vital activities and the source of human life. It plays the important regulation role in maintaining the normal physiological functions of the circulatory system, respiratory system, nervous system, endocrine system, elementary system, blood system, muscle system, skeletal system, urinary system, and immune system. No system of human body is independent of calcium, and calcium metabolism balance is vital for maintaining life and health. Calcium is so vital for human health that the calcium nutrition of Chinese is up to 50% of the recommended diet supply standard only. The elderly and children suffer from calcium deficiency and only 70% of adults are free of calcium deficiency. Thus, most Chinese people subject to calcium deficiency. Calcium deficiency is a global problem, and Japan's government suggests all Japanese people supplement calcium. In the recent years, the calcium research is continuously furthered, 
and new calcium supplements are continuously put into market. Tian's Nutrient Super Calcium Series are based on the health concept of cleaning, regulating, supplementing, and preventing, and combine Chinese long-standing health-preserving culture and the modern biotechnology. They have the function of calcium supplement and other nutrition functions.